First of all, what is standard deviation? Standard deviation uh, gives you an idea about how spread out the data points are from the mean, okay, from the average. The larger the standard deviation, the more the data points are spread out. The smaller the standard deviation, the closer the data points are grouped together. So that gives you an overview about standard deviation. Uh, but here's the form that we're going to be using. So sigma, the Greek letter here, sigma, tells you what the standard deviation is. X sub i is each one of our individual data points. X bar, okay, this means the mean or the average, okay, of your data. N is the number of data points, okay, that you're working with, okay, N. And then this sigma, Greek letter uh, sigma here, uh, is the sum, okay. So this is you're finding the sum of all the data points, okay. Um, well, in this case, you're finding the sum of all the deviations squared, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, do an example. So find the standard deviation of the following quiz scores, 5, 8, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so just imagine that you had five people, they took a quiz, let's say it was a 10-point quiz. These are their scores. Somebody did great, somebody did not so great, but you wanna just get an idea about what the standard deviation is. Uh, this is a small amount of data, just to illustrate how to go through and do this. So what I would do, this is how I normally do it, is I make a table, okay? So here's our table, it looks something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna list all the data points, which are five, eight, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and then we're gonna take each data point, that's these here, minus the mean, Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each of those standard deviations, deviation means like how far off from the mean you are, and we're gonna square them. Okay, then we're gonna add them all together. Okay, so we're gonna take that sum. We're gonna then divide it by how many data points we have, okay, which is N, and then we're gonna take the square root, and that'll give us our standard deviation. Okay, so are you with me so far? Okay, so first thing we need to do is find the mean. Okay, this X bar, that's the average. So you probably already know how to find the average. You just add up all the data points. So that's five plus eight plus eight plus nine plus 10, all divided by five data points. So this comes out to 40 divided by five, which equals eight. So our average score is eight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take five minus eight, which is negative three, eight minus eight, which is zero, eight minus eight, which is zero, nine minus eight, which is one, and 10 minus eight, which is two. So those are the deviations. We're gonna then square them. Negative three squared is positive nine. Zero squared is zero, zero squared is zero, one squared is one, and two squared is four. We're gonna add those up. So that comes out to 14. We're gonna divide by how many data points we have, which in this case it's five. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, so this is 14 divided by five, and we're gonna take the square root. And if we do that, we get approximately 1.67. So that's our standard deviation.